Hey y'all, what's up and welcome to my channel. My name is Natalie and I create home and lifestyle videos here on my channel. And today we're doing one of my favorite kinds of videos and I'm doing my Christmas home decor haul for 2022. This is part one. I'm not sure if there will be a part two this year. In years past, there's been two parts for Christmas each year um, for home decor haul. So maybe there will be another video later this season. But for now, I think I'm good. I've definitely covered a lot of ground. So I have pieces here today from Hobby Lobby, Target, TJ Maxx, Walmart, and one thing from Ross. So I definitely did some damage and I can't wait to share everything with you all. So if you have seen my Christmas home tours or Christmas home decor hauls from the past two years since we have been living in this house, you will know that my Christmas decor style is very much like a classic antique kind of vintage nostalgic Christmas. I do red and green and a little bit of white and like um, wood textures and things like that. So I really try to keep it very natural and simple um, and very true to like classic Christmas. So I think you will see that reflected in the items that I picked up for this year. Um, the first thing I'm gonna share is from Ross and it's cause it's the only thing that I picked up from Ross this year. I saw this wreath and I hope you can see it, but it is this really beautiful, really unique looking wreath with like orange slices and the cinnamon sticks. It's got mixed greenery. It is just very detailed. And this wreath was only $15 if you can believe that. So I was looking at Hobby Lobby today and their wreaths were like at least $40, I think. Um, and so considering how big this one is and how detailed it is for $15, you can't beat it. I don't know where this is gonna go because I already have a wreath for my front door that I use every year because it matches the wreaths that we put in all of our windows. But I'm thinking maybe in the kitchen this year, I'll put this on the pantry door or I'm not really sure, maybe in the dining room, but I just thought it was too pretty to ignore and I just had to pick it up. So I love that kind of the way that cranberry and orange reflect that like old, old fashioned Christmas where that's what they had to decorate their trees with. So then I have a couple pieces from Walmart. And if you've watched me in the past, you know that Walmart is usually like my number one place that I get most of my stuff every year. But honestly this year I wasn't super impressed and it might've just been that they didn't have everything out yet or that they just didn't have what I was personally looking for this year. So they usually do have a really great selection though, so I would say still check it out if you're interested. But um, these are the things that I got from Walmart. Got these little mini ornaments and they just say Merry Christmas. And I got these because I'm going to do a little desk tree at work. Um, some of y'all know, I think in my last haul, on my last video, I talked about that I got a new job and so I actually have a desk at work now and I'm gonna do a little desk tree around Christmas time and I'm gonna do these ornaments on it with these. So I saw these in Walmart. These were $5, look how pretty they are. These would be perfect in like a little baby girl's nursery. Like I love the texture and the soft pink color. Um, so these with these on a little, I have a little white tree that I'm gonna use. Um, and that is gonna be my desk at work for December. I'm very excited about that, maybe sooner. The only other thing from Walmart, believe it or not, um, this church painting. So this little piece of art was $8 almost. It was like seven something. And I was really looking for artwork to put on my shelves in my living room during the Christmas season. So I change out like artwork that are on the shelves for the different seasons because you can just kind of lean it up like on the shelf and prop it up against the wall and it takes up a lot of space so that you don't need as many pieces. And so I was looking for like wintry or Christmas prints and I saw this and I just really liked the church. Very simple and neutral, but also looked really realistic and looked like a real painting um, because of the texture. So I thought that was a good find. Then I got just a couple things from TJ Maxx or maybe just one thing, two things. Well, one's not home decor. These aren't really home decor related, but they're holiday. So I got these little food storage containers. These are like little disposable um, plastic storage containers. They are, this was $8 for 20 of them. So 10 lids and 10 little containers, but aren't they cute? I just thought this was perfect for like, if you wanna take cookies to your neighbors or to work, um, or you wanna give these as like little gifts for your coworkers with some treats in there. Like if you do the, um, 
the like puppy chow or whatever kind of um, mixed treats for Christmas, you could put them in these containers and give them out as like a really cheap and cute gift for your coworkers or neighbors or whatever. So I picked that up because I saw that and I thought that would be a really good idea to use those for. Um, then the second thing I picked up were these little like nail strips. So if, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this in a video, but I use these Dashing Diva nail polish strips. Um, this is my current manicure, the like Halloween kind of one, if you can see. Um, but these are at Target and TJ Maxx are cheaper, but I can't always find them. So I went ahead and picked these up for the winter. They have like little polar bear and like sweater designs. I just thought that was so cute. If you can see. Um, so these were $5 and I usually get like at least two manicures out of a set like this because there's a whole nother tray underneath it. Um, but these are great. Like it's, you just peel them and stick them on your nail and like cut them and file them down. And I think they look pretty good considering they were $5. So that is for the winter time. I thought that would be fun. Hopefully they'll have like a real holiday looking set closer to the holidays with like red and green. Cause I'd love to do that for like around Christmas time. But those I thought would be perfect for like the wintry season of like January. Um, and usually I leave these on for like three weeks and they hold up really good. So if you have been here before or watched my Christmas videos before. I am a big sucker for wrapping materials in the target dollar spot. So whenever they put them out, boxes, gift bags, tissue paper, all that kind of stuff. I go ahead and I stock up because those, that section of the Target dollar spot will go and then you won't be able to get your hands on any of it. And then you have to buy like regular priced gift wrap and things and they're very expensive. So I picked up a pack of tissue paper. This is 15 count tissue paper for a dollar. And then I also got this twine for a dollar. I like to use this to wrap like around the gifts cause I think it makes it look a little bit more festive. And then I got three of these wrapping papers that were a dollar. And I get the just plain brown wrapping paper that doesn't have stripes on it. Um, but this year they didn't have that. So I got the, the brown with the red stripe and I think it will be okay. Um, it's a little more patterned than I typically like to go for, but it'll be fine. This was a dollar for 18 square feet. I don't feel like it's a great deal, but I like the way this paper looks. Um, Hobby Lobby had some probably better deals on paper for the price. Also at the Target dollar spot, I picked up this little nutcracker for $3. Isn't he cute? I just thought he'd be cute on my shelves or somewhere. Um, little pieces like this are nice. Like if you do a little vignette like on the coffee table or on your end table, you can put this with like your little candle um, and some greenery of some sort. So I just think little pieces like this are cute. And plus I love nutcrackers, but it's hard to find ones that are neutral and don't look like really creepy. So I picked him up and then I picked up two of these bottle brush trees for $3. These are like a whitish beige kind of cream color. And last year I talked about having a hard time finding neutral colored ones. So I went ahead and just picked those up because I saw them. And of course I was not going to get out of Target without going to the hearth and hand section. And honestly, I didn't go too crazy. So I might have to go round two. And I also didn't look at um, Studio McGee's line because I don't think it was out when I was there last. So I did just get these two sprigs of greenery that were $8 a piece, which now that I'm looking at that, I thought that they were five. That's a little bit expensive in my opinion, but um, these are sprigs of greenery with like the white berries in there. I just think these look pretty realistic. Like the pine on them looks pretty realistic and they are super big. So I figured I'd only need two of these and they could really add a lot of height to a vase um, in like my foyer probably. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep these or not because I got some other ones at Hobby Lobby that were cheaper. Um, but these do look really nice and they feel very heavy. So those were from Hearth and Hand. And then I also picked up this flower sack towel. I love these from Hearth and Hand. They're like $4 or something. And they're huge and just the best texture. They wash up great. Um, I just really like the way they look like over the oven. They just look very vintage and um, kind of antique. So this was $4, like I said. And this like just red and white stripe is just very 
classic and kind of vintage looking in my opinion. So I went ahead and picked that up. I can't remember if I bought one of these last year. I might not keep this if I have one that's like very similar, but if I, I like these better than like the smaller kitchen towels because I just don't feel like they're as absorbent and just really don't do the job as well. So this one is decorative and also functional. Speaking of greenery, I got three of these sprigs from Hobby Lobby and this is all gonna be from Hobby Lobby, the rest of this haul. But these were $6, so they were $3 a sprig with the discount. Pretty good considering how big they are. I really like this kind of greenery with the little berries on it. Um, it just looks very realistic in my opinion. So like I said, I bought three, so that was $9 for this whole arrangement. And I also picked up this bell that is functional. It's like a galvanized bell. And I think you could like put it on a tree, like it's got a little rope, um, or you could hang it like inside of a wreath. But this guy was, everything was 50% off. So I will just read you the price like after the discount was taken. So this was $7, which maybe is a lot for this, but I really like bell decor this year. I don't love like all the stuff going on with it. So I might see if I could pull that off. But I really like the way a bell looks like on top of a stack of decor books on an entryway table or a buffet table or a coffee table. I feel like it just adds a little bit of that like Christmas um, flair to a centerpiece or to those books. And I really like this bell because it looks very old and like I said, that antique kind of um, Christmas kind of look. So I like anything that looks old, even if it's fake old. And I got this little tree that was $4. Um, and I got this just for shelf decor. Like I said, I'm having, thinking about what I'm gonna put on my shelves in my living room. And I feel like something like this adds a good amount of height for a pretty inexpensive price. And I really liked the white and wood. I don't really know. I just kind of saw this and threw it in my cart. I got these little gingerbread guys. I'll have to find my gingerbread man, but this is the gingerbread woman. And she was 350 and look how cute she is. Last year, if you watched my video, you remember I wanted gingerbread decor that was something that I was pinning a lot and I really wanted to incorporate some like gingerbread looking decor into my kitchen on the open shelves because I just feel like gingerbread decor looks very nostalgic like very classic and kind of old so that was one reason I really wanted that and so I saw the little gingerbread man and little girl and I thought they were so cute so I picked them up and I'm gonna put them next to each other I think but they also had like a ton of gingerbread decor this year. So if that's like a theme you really wanna take and run with, go to Hobby Lobby. They had tables full of just all gingerbread decor. And then I got two of these little winter pine little scented packets. I got this in my fall decor haul as well with like a pumpkin something scent. Um, but I like to put these under the seats of my car during the season. Um, and it makes my car smell really nice when I get in it. And it was only a dollar. So here is my little gingerbread man that I was talking about. So there's the little man and woman gingerbreads. I think they're so cute. I got these battery operated candlesticks. These were three dollars for these two which I thought was a really good deal I never light candlesticks because I just I don't I like lighting candles but I do worry about them a lot so I really wanted to get a pair of or a set of battery operated ones that could go in my really pretty like candlestick holders um I just thought it looks very like um formal and very seasonal and so when I saw these and they were only three dollars I thought why not so these will go in my candlestick holders I don't know where but I thought they'd be good to have for the holidays and I mentioned that I'm really into bells this year as we saw that other bell that I got and so then I saw this in the ornaments this was a three dollar little cowbell and I just thought it was so cute I mean it's very like country but I also just love the color of it. It's kind of that like rusty copper color. Um, and I thought this would be really cute. Again, like on top of some books, I could put it on the tree if I wanted to, or I could have it out on a table. I just kind of like that it mixes the like very like country kind of farmhouse look with Christmas. I think bells of any sort are just very holiday. Um, and I love bells. So for $3, I thought if nothing else, it could definitely go on the tree, but I thought this was cute. This would be really cute. Like as little table settings, like on each table place setting, if you had this like on the plate, I just think that would be cute. It could be like a little gift favor or something. I don't know. I got this set of ornaments, but they're giant ornaments. So they're these big bell ornaments. 
and this one was seven and this one was 450 so you get this the pair for like 11 ish bucks um but i thought these would be really great on my shelves in my living room so just like sat next to each other i thought that they would be really cute to again add some of that like uh, shelf decor that would also be seasonal so I thought that was a pretty good deal for those they also had these in red and I really liked the red and I went back and forth but I ended up choosing the white because the red the like pine cones were not they you could see the glue from them so they weren't very well made and I thought that these were better so they're making a lot of noise um, but I thought those were very cute this is just a fun little thing I saw these little earrings for two dollars they're little jingle bells and they'll probably like turn my ears green, but I thought these would be really fun for like a holiday party um, or for the holidays at work or something like that. So I went ahead and got those for myself and I got a pair for one of my coworkers. And then, like I said, last year I really wanted gingerbread decor and I didn't get any, I couldn't find any. So this year when I saw this little gingerbread mug, I had to get it even if not to use just for decor but i probably i definitely will use it i have not bought a christmas mug in a long time all of my christmas mugs were from the target dollar spot like years ago and i think i definitely have some that i could part with in order to make room for this one so this one was 12 so it's six dollars um which i think is about you know at target they're about five so pretty fair price i love the little mistletoe we're on the inside and the little gingerbread guys i think it's so cute it's a really nice big cup you can kind of see so love that mug they obviously have a lot of mugs and that's kind of a most people don't need a new mug every year but i've actually been very good and not bought a christmas mug anytime recently and my mug collection is actually not out of control like i'm pretty selective nowadays so i thought it would be okay to pick this one and last but not least the big star of the show I last year talked about how I wanted a better, more realistic looking garland for my mantle and I had not gotten a new one because I had one that worked and I'd had it for several years, like it's been at least four years. Um, and it is a very cheap, fake looking garland um, that's pre-lit, but I don't have a place to plug it in from our mantle. So it kind of just looks silly because I have to add fairy lights to it anyways. Um, so I really wanted a new garland and I saw one in Walmart that I liked that had a mixture of different greeneries and I thought that it was very nice and realistic looking and I think it was like 20 or 25 bucks but my husband didn't love it he didn't think it looked that good so um I didn't buy that one but I do think that's a good option if you're looking but I found this one in Hobby Lobby and it is I don't it's like almost soft touch like the bristles feel soft they don't feel really prickly um and I don't know what kind of pine like what kind of is it cypress I don't even know I don't know anything about these kind of trees but um I think that this one looks pretty realistic it does have the little pine cones um and just kind of scattered throughout and it is a six foot garland for thirty dollars so not like cheap by any means but definitely on the more realistic side of price point i've seen them at tj maxx for for like i think i don't know if i've seen them for any cheaper than like 30 bucks so i thought this one was pretty nice we'll see how it looks on the mantle i'll have to test it out um i don't know if i'll need to like add to it like add sprigs or what but i just really like that it looks very real to me especially from far away it looks like the garlands that we got from the Christmas tree farm last year that we put on our banister. So, cause they do have like sparse spots when it's from a real tree. So I don't know, I thought this one was a really good find. So anyways, you guys, that is everything for my Christmas decor haul, at least for part one for 2022. I hope you enjoyed this video. I cannot wait to start decorating for Christmas. As I am filming this video, it's the last week in October. And I usually decorate for Christmas in early November. This year, it probably won't be like November 1, but probably the first weekend of November when I have some time, um, I will go ahead and start decorating for Christmas. I'm a little nervous to get it all out, and I really loved my fall decor this year, so I'm like not super excited to take that down, um, but always excited for Christmas and just spending time decorating. I like to put it up early because I do take a lot of time to do it, and I want to enjoy it for a couple of months. So 
yeah, anyways, I hope this video was helpful. I hope it gives you some ideas of what's in the stores and what I'm kind of going for this year. Stay tuned for decorating videos and a Christmas home tour. And for that, this is my favorite time of year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys again next video very soon. Bye.